Stan Gibalisco here, once again visiting you on Earth from the far reaches of intergalactic space. I would like to show you a website that I plan to take advantage of. I'm just going to show you all of the navigation just as I explore it myself. It has to do with kite supported antennas for amateur radio operations and I without a doubt we'll go to this site as soon as I uh, see the autumn coming on and I'm ready to go out to the stargazer ranch it's into the wind dot com this is a supplier of kites of all kinds and all sorts of supplies which I have used in the past and you want uh, for amateur radio purposes pretty much to go to traditional kites. You don't need a very big kite to fly a long length of, uh, of aluminum reinforced wire. Uh, it's known as Baygard 6. B-A-Y-G-A-R-D. Baygard 6. And there's several different types of kites that you're going to probably want to get for depending upon the wind speeds. Delta kites are best for the low wind speeds of in some cases as low as 5 miles an hour. 5 to 15 maybe up to 20 miles an hour. You would get something like uh, well let's just take a look at the here's a 9 foot levitation delta kite. This is a really great option for amateur radio kite sloper antennas. In a, in a 10 or 15 mile an hour wind, that thing will fly at about a 60 degree angle with respect to the surface. Or 40, uh, or 40 degrees, 30 degrees with respect to the vertical. Quite a good angle for, say, a half wavelength kite zep antenna. You do have to check with the Federal Aviation Administration before you do things like this, depending upon where you are. You get a bunch of uh, get a bunch of extras. You're going to need you're not going to need a tail, but you are going to need things like kite swivels and a kite line to serve as a tether for any of the kites that you uh, here. Aztec Delta kite. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, max minimum wind five mile an hour maximum wind 18 miles an hour uh, that looks like a pretty good one I can't find exactly how uh, how big it is here's your line down here kite flyers gloves you don't want to get your fingers all wrecked up do you traditional kites those are for the lightest winds now when you get a little bit stronger wind, you might want something like a Delta Conine. Here is a uh, Mesa Delta Conine kite, Rocky Mountain Delta Conine kite. These are also known as winged box kites. Minimum wind 6 mile an hour, maximum wind up to 25 mile an hour. These will fly almost vertical. In a 15 or 20 mile an hour wind, they'll fly just about straight up and down. It's really remarkable. But not so much when you think that a kite, in a sense, is really like a winged airplane, a winged glider, or pardon me, a captive glider, as it were. Uh, there are all kinds of accessories. Now, when you, uh, but let's go back. That would be an option for slightly stronger winds. And here's one for stronger winds yet. Double lifter sled kite. Ultra foil 15 pocket sled kite. Here's a pair of foil five. That's a that's certainly big enough for our applications. Minimum wind five mile an hour. I don't think that thing would fly very well in a five mile an hour wind. Maybe ten. Maximum wind 30 mile an hour. These fly at a lower angle and they pull hard. When you get up to a 30 mile an hour wind, uh, that is pretty doggone hard. Uh, pulling kite. Um, 
But uh, these these kites are interesting because they don't have any frame to them. They they fill up with air and they develop their shape on the basis of the air that flows through them. That's the way that they hold their shape. Now there was one called a uh, Ferrari Ram kite. I don't know if they still have that particular kind of kite. Um, rainbow power sled air guitar let me see let's check out this rainbow power sled well that only goes to 20 miles an hour when you get over 30 miles an hour you you start getting into some pretty serious uh, pretty serious turbulence although I have flown um, some kites up to 40 miles an hour double lifter sled kite most of these are maximum rated at about 25 to 30 miles an hour if you get windier than that now I don't know whether they're talking gust speed or sustained wind there's quite a big difference uh, in those two but lines and accessories you'll want to get uh, you the kind of spool you'll want to get is uh, the kind that you would wind an extension cord on. You can find that at a hardware store. They're bigger than any of these spools, but you'll definitely want swivels to keep your line from getting all twisted. And, and, and it will, too. Those kites will turn over and over and over. There's a lot of other interesting stuff on here, like wind art. Toys, stunt kites. Well, now, as for stunt kites, maybe some of these. Check it out, though. Check out IntoTheWind.com. I'll provide a link to that site in the description of this video. In the background, you are hearing W1AW, the American Radio Relay League station, transmitting their bulletin. Just a little accompaniment to an amateur radio theme. This is the place to go into the wind.com and then when you're done with that you can see how many QSOs you might get from a QTH like this Stangibalisco Whiskey 1 Good Vibrations signing off saying 73 and so long for now.